How to make a PowerPoint adaptive tensile fabric. Let's start. Go to file. Let's create a new family. Uh, go to metric. And select the metric generic model adaptive. Okay, next select reference point, pick a point, cancel, select the reference point, mirror, select the reference plane, okay, mirror, select the reference plane, mirror, select the reference plane, okay, now select all the reference point and make it adaptive select the two reference point spline through point check reference line select the two reference point spline through points check reference line select the two reference point spline through point check reference line select the two reference point spline through points check reference line next select the reference point select the draw on face pick at midpoint okay next select these two reference point <coughs> select these two reference point spline through points check reference line select these two reference point spline through points check reference line Okay. Select reference point. Pick on 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 this re, uh, reference line. Okay. Select this reference point. Go to normalize curve parameter. Uh, pick the button. Let's create a new parameter. Uh, type NC. NCP1 ok ok select the opposite reference point change the beginning to end pick the button select NCP1 ok now select this reference point go to normalize curve parameter pick the button select NCP1 ok select the opposite reference point change the beginning to N then pick the button select NCP1 ok next select these two reference point spline through points check reference line select these two reference point spline through points check reference line ok next select reference point pick 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 and pick next select the reference point Go to normalize curve parameter, pick the button, create new parameter, type NCP2. <coughs> okay, okay. Next, uh, select the opposite reference point, change the beginning to N. Okay, then pick the button select NCP2 ok 
Okay. Select this reference point. Okay. Change the beginning to end. Pick the button. Select NCP2. Okay. Select this reference point. Pick the button. Select NCP2. Okay. Go to family type. Let's try the parameter. The NCP1, change it to um, 0.2. Okay. Uh, let's change it to point fifteen. Okay, very good. The NCP to change it to point zero six. Okay. Next, select this three reference point. Okay. Cancel. Okay, select this three reference point. Okay. Spline through points. Check reference line. Select this three reference point. <coughs> Spline through points. Check reference line. Select these two reference point. Spline through points. Check reference line. Now select these three reference line. Create a form. Okay. Next, let's go to family uh, family types. Let's change the NCP to 2.05. Oh, cancel. Uh, let's make 0 0.05. Apply. Okay. Let's make it point zero 0.09. Okay. NCP 1.2. Okay. <clears throat> Next, let's insert the two point adaptive pipe. Okay, let's open. Okay, this is the two point adaptive pipe. Load into the project family two. Okay. Pick at this reference point to this reference point. Okay. Next, pick at this reference point to this reference point. Okay. Next, pick at reference point to the next re reference point. Okay. Pick at this reference point. To this reference point okay next um, go to family types let's try to change the NCP to 2.05 apply okay good okay next Select the tent, the fabric. Let's create a new parameter. Let's name it fabric finish. Okay, okay. Next, select the four pipes. Roll tab to select. Okay, select. 
pipes and make the three pipes. Okay, go to materials, pick the button, let's create a new parameter. Let's name it pipe finish. Okay, okay. Uh, let's go to family types. Let's select the material for the fabric. Go to material library. Let's select something white. Okay, fabric white. Go linen. Okay. Pipe finish. Let's select also for something white. Metal paint. Let's select the paint wheel guard white. Okay. Okay. Next, save the project. Let's save this to desktop. Let's name this tensile. <coughs> Fabric. Save. Okay, and check shared. Load into the project. Okay, save. Okay, now let's go to perspective. Let's select the 10 fabric. Okay. Let's insert the new one. The tensile, uh, the tensile fabric. Okay. Insert. Okay, let's save the project. Okay, pick at the corner of the column. Okay, pick. Okay, to the next column. Okay, to the next column. Okay, to the next column. Okay. Next, okay, next to the third column, okay, the fourth column, okay, so you have the four point adaptive tensile fabric, okay, pick. Okay, pick in the next column. Okay. Now we have a finished four point adaptive tensile fabric. Thank you.